back on a bank, uh, second session down at Benenborough Hall and I've decided to go back for the, uh, the perch. Uh, so I went out digging this morning, uh, got myself some worms, uh, went down the fishing shop, got some, myself some maggots uh, and I've got a tower sort of uh, uh, maggot thing like where you, uh, you put your maggots on uh, but I put a worm on him um, and I've got a feeder out there as well and uh, we'll see. Uh, like I say, I'll probably switch to the barbel a bit later on because you know what I'm like, I just, I, I really love the barbel fishing and if I see signs of it uh, or I get a sniff of one, uh, I probably will switch up but at the moment uh, I'm sticking to, I'm looking at the fucking wrong side of the camera again, uh, I'm sticking to the, the, um, uh, to the perch and we'll see how we get on. I might even switch up to the chub or the, uh, or the pike, whatever I fancy, whatever I think that's going to get me a fish, uh, I'll have a go at that. Um, saves a blank but there's always a chance of that as well uh, so I'll let you know uh, now I'll get on uh, speak to you in a bit bye so guys I just lost a fish first time since uh, start of the season uh, when I was just getting into barbel fishing um, <coughs> lost a few at the start of the season and I haven't lost any since if they if they buy well no tell a lie I lost one chub um, took me into the uh, into the weeds and unhooked itself um, but I lived, I've just properly lost one. Um, yeah, first time since the start of the season I've lost one like that and it didn't feel like a perch. Uh, it absolutely screamed off, absolutely screamed off, took so much line. Um, I was um, muscling it, uh, like trying to get it away from a snag uh, and it snapped me out. Uh, I had, all my clutch was adjusted and everything else like that. Um, all I could think of was a weak line. Um, so I've stripped a bit off um, and I've adjusted my clutch even more um, and we see one more bite that's all I need uh, but that felt, it felt like a barbel if I'm honest or a pike. Um, it screamed off, it was heavy, it was a big fish, um, it was, it was a, yeah it was decent uh, unless it was a six pound perch which I don't think it would have been uh, but that, 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 was a, that was a decent fish I've just lost there so yeah, licking my wounds, but uh, evaluating the situation, make the changes, uh, learn from the mistakes. Um, I don't think there's much more I could have done. Uh, I said, it, maybe it's because I caught that pike on that rod yesterday and I didn't strip any line off. I, that's probably why, and it's stretched line, it's a bit weak, snapped me out. Um, that's why I always usually strip a bit of line off before I do my, uh, my rigs and set up. Uh, but I didn't do it today, so yeah, lesson learned. I'll, I'll probably put it down to that. Um, one more bite, come on. Let's uh, let's see if we can get our own back, eh? Uh, but you can't catch them all. It's not Pokemon, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, I thought I'd give you an update. Uh, I don't win all the time. Um, but when I lose, I learn. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye. So, um... Uh, I'm back on the bank, back at Benenborough Hall, uh, trying to get um, that barbel I missed yet, um, the other day. Um, I've not had much luck, if I'm honest. Uh, I've not had a single touch on the barbel rod. Um, I've had a, a maggot feeder out and I had lots and lots of knocks, um, trying for the perch and just to see if I could pick up a... That's what I had, maggot and a, a halibut pellet on there, um, which I picked up the barbel, lost the barbel with yesterday. Yeah, day before yesterday. Um, so yeah, so I, I, I sort of tried to replicate it and it's not really worked. Uh, so I got a bit bored. Uh, so I got the stick float out. And um, I've got some little, little, little baby chub and a couple of little bleak. Uh, let's see if I can turn around and show you. Uh, I don't know how to do it again. All right, let's uh, pull these out of here. So, let's have a look, eh? If you guys can see, we got a couple of little chub, a couple of little bleak in there. Uh, so yeah, and uh, while I was uh, 
got them in my net. I had my net sort of, sort of uh, stuck in the uh, side of the bank. A little pike came along and tried having a go at them. So I had to lift him out and rescue him for a second. But uh, it was only a little jack. But um, he was having a go. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm umming and ahhing. Uh, seeing that there are pike about. We're able to get the pike gear out and give it a go. Um, because it's always good for this time of year is always good for pike and stuff um so yeah that may be an option uh as the barb but it is getting to barbel bite sort of time uh it's you never know what to do uh with with fishing uh i've got four little tiddlers in the in the net so i ain't blanked uh between them they're about half a pound <laughs> um but yeah i've really enjoyed it if i'm honest like a uh, little bit of like stick floating uh, with the maggot it makes a change from sitting here and just uh, hunting the big ones uh, so yeah it's good to be versatile it's good to sort of do different types of fishing and I've quite enjoyed it to be honest it's like yeah it's been good anyway it's enough of me rabbiting on um, we'll see what happens see if we get a barbel if we get bored and might switch up to the pike gear uh, we'll see um, but yeah I'll speak to you soon Hello, so after missing that um, barbel uh, the other day, I decided to concentrate on them a bit more and uh, yeah, try to get one out of this stretch. Uh, but I'm not going to flog a dead horse because um, I'm not hitting the water when the conditions are actually uh, right, to be honest. Uh, so I'm not making it easy for myself. Uh, but after having, which I'm, I am quite, quite convinced it was a, a barbel the other day, because um, nothing nothing takes line like that or pulls like that that I've experienced in a river apart from a barbel. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to give it another go uh, next couple of sessions. Uh, but then after that, I'm going to keep on with the original plan, uh, which is to keep exploring uh, all the beautiful rivers around York uh, and trying to get a barbel out of each, but also learning the waters for the coming seasons uh, so that like I said before depending on the conditions I can go wherever I feel uh, is right that day um, but yeah this water seems to be a bit more testing than I than I originally thought so um, we'll see I really love it and I'd love a barbell I don't wouldn't care any what size it was um, but like I say I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna keep on fishing in it if it's if it's not working, I'm gonna uh, change up, try somewhere else and come back maybe when levels are higher and uh, there's a bit more flow and stuff. Um, but yeah, so uh, fingers crossed we get one and we can get mission complete. If not, I'll be back and I'll be loving the scenery and the wildlife and uh, loving life, eating cakes. See you in a bit. I'm wet, <laughs> been pissing down. Uh, not had any bites, uh, had a tweak on one of the rods, uh, but nothing substantial. Um, but yeah, still had a good day. Um, I've been on a savoury day today, no cakes with me. I had some sandwiches and I've got a Moroccan, a Moroccan, um, a bit weird, but it was nice. I've had one already. Uh, it's a Moroccan veg vegan ginsters, Moroccan vegetable pasty. Like, uh, who would have thought that you put Moroccan vegetables in a pasty and it works? But it fucking does. It really does. Um, I proper liked it. Uh, anyway, it's enough about me and my pasty. I'll go on about fishing. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, Ben and Brahul has been quite challenging stretch. Um, I've not hit it when, uh, when the ideal is a condition and uh, the, the ideal conditions are, are sort of on. Uh, and maybe that's some of it. Uh, you, you, if you target a water when it's fishing, uh, when it potentially gonna fish better, it probably will fish better. Um, I really, really want a barbel out of this stretch, uh, but I do understand uh, there's no point sitting on the bank, uh, session after session, um, if you're not gonna catch um, or you're up against it. Uh, I may as well go and blank on a different bank and learn a bit more about that bank and then come back here when uh, the conditions are a bit more favorable. Um, water is coming down and uh, the river levels will rise but like I said it does take a little bit of time for the water to come through and run off all of the other 
uh, rivers into this one. Uh, but you never know. Uh, you can never count out uh, a, a barbel at any time because uh, they don't always play by the rules. Um, and the least, like the other day, I wasn't expecting one. Uh, I'd uh, halibut pellet uh, on the hair and uh, maggot on the hook, sort of trying to double up my chances to try to catch anything uh, and struck into one. Um, and like I said, the more and more I thought about it, there's nothing else like that that takes takes line in the river like that. Uh, so it had to be a barbel. Uh, and I was quite chuffed with just um, getting one on the line because it confirmed what I was thinking about uh, a lot of different bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, uh, even though I didn't get it in, uh, it's the first one I've lost in a while, it was still really productive and a learning curve. Uh, so I'm gonna take the sort of uh, the lessons from it and uh, yeah, just continue on my fishing journey. It's still the first season uh, and my sort of, I wanna learn as much about the rivers up here as possible uh, so that next season I'll be better prepared, I'll know uh, little spots, or I'll, I'll, I'll just be a bit more familiar. And also I'm, I'm scouting out at the same time for different opportunities, for different species and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna to spend too much more time on this water for the barbel unless the um, the conditions are perfect for it because uh, I know I can go other places and have a better chance of catching um, but this will be one that I keep coming back to until I do um, because I really like it uh, it's snaggy as hell uh, there's there's quite deep water um, so there's a bit of, it's it's a it's a it's like the the river nid and the uh, and uh, uh, the ewes at Widdington's Love Child. It's like the best of both. It's, it's a really good, really, really good water. Uh, and it's been really exciting uh, fighting the pike on it and stuff. Uh, so I've had a few little chub here and there and that seems to usually go the way uh, before I do get a barbel on a new stretch. I'll get those two species or maybe a bream or something like that. Uh, and then I get into them. So uh, I'm not going to rush things and I'm not going to force things. I'm just going to let the fishing play out, let it evolve as it should uh, and keep on enjoying it uh, and keep on eating munch on the bank, have my little picnics uh, and just making the most of uh, the wildlife and the peace. Um, but if I do catch anything, uh, I'll keep you updated. Uh, if I don't, that's it. Take care. So, I'm eating this pasty. You got me finger. What vegetables do grow in Morocco? I can't figure it out. Have a look. There's some sort of pepper in there. It's quite spicy, but I don't think... You don't grow vegetables spicy. That's the herbs you put in. And the spices. I'll have a look on the back, that's it. Butternut squash, chickpeas, apricots, they're not vegetables. Apricots aren't vegetables, even I know that. Well, no, they're actually saying that. They've got a big seed in the middle. No, vegetables have seeds on the outside, don't they? No, fruits have seeds on. I don't know. Surely apricot, because otherwise plum would be a, would be a, a, a vegetable. No, it's a fruit. It is a fruit. I knew it was a fruit. That's false advertising that. Dates. Dates are not that dates are fruits as well. Red pinky some mad pepper. Moroccan her ceramosi sauce and potatoes, onions, tomatoes, spring onions, wrapped in a light past pastry. Well there you go. Um but they're sort of lying because they should have put fruit and vegetable pasty, not vegetable pasty. Not from Moroccan vegetable pasty, but it should have been Moroccan fruit and vegetable pasty. As nice as you are, you shouldn't lie. There. So, I decided to stay a little bit longer. It's uh, stopped raining and I've had a couple of tugs. Um, 
Well, uh, I mean, a, a couple of pulls on my rod. <laughs> well, that even sounds dodgy as well. Um, I don't know. You know. The fish pulled my line a couple of times, so I've decided to stay a little bit longer. I've eaten my pasty. I've still got a couple more sandwiches, so, uh, yeah, I'm feeling all right. Um, it's actually lovely out here today. Uh, the little bit of rain's really freshened it up. Um, the birds are out and, um, yeah, ducks are going past. Kingfisher, I saw a kingfisher again. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll be, I'm will be. i going to stay a little bit longer and see how we get on. Because um, it is usually a bit later in the day they like to bite. But you do get a rogue one every now and then. Uh, fancies a bit of lunch. Um, I've switched up and I'm doubling up my baits as usual. Uh, well, I say as usual. I have been at this spot. Uh, so, oh, that's a tug on that one then. Tug on my rod. <laughs> Go on, fucking scream off. So I've got, uh, I've switched. Uh, I did have um, a snowman on one. I had a, um, a boilie and a halibut pellet uh, on one and uh, wrapped with a load of my manky mix over the, over the weight um, to use as a sort of feeder. Um, and the other one I was on uh, meat uh, with a lobworm. Uh, which I dug up the other day, uh, but I've switched both to the to the meat and the lobworm because that's what I've been getting the tugs on. Uh, they're just the tugging on my lobworm. <laughs> uh, it could be small fish. It could just be small fish or perch or stuff like that. Um, but I'll be happy with anything. Um, I am targeting the bigger fish to get again today. And like I say, I think if I came down here and I was targeting the small fish, um, I'd get perch and I'd. I'd get a lot of them and then I might get a big one and stuff like that. Uh, I'd get the chub, I'd get everything else and, and there's always a chance. But I do like to try to target the larger fish in the waters. Um, so I use bigger baits usually, um, unless it's a winter season, I try to size down, but I still can't help myself. Um, it's probably why I don't do so well in the winter. Uh, and, and I don't like it because it gets cold. Um, but yes, I've, I've uh, replicated both, uh, both baits, both setups on both rods. Um, obviously the um, the quiver's in a bit closer because it, it can't hold as much weight as the, the little um, outcast, um, the chub outcast. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. It seems, like I say, I'm getting a little bit more action. Uh, so uh, that's always good. I'll keep you updated. So, no bed and hall barbel for me at the moment. Uh, another good session, loads learnt. Really wet Bobby, he's absolutely hammering it down. Um, yeah, a few sessions up here, still kicking myself at the one I lost. Uh, was a good fish, really, really went, took line. Schoolboy error, learnt from my mistakes, eh? Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, love this stretch. Um, had a few pike out of it. Uh, few chub, a uh, few chublets <laughs> as well. Uh, so I've had fish, um, but no barbel. No bar of Yorkshire gold uh, off from this stretch at the moment, but that's was what, uh, what will keep me coming back. Um, so yeah, um, on to the next stretch. Uh, I've still got a couple more on the ooze uh, I'm thinking about doing. Um, and I want to get onto the Derwent. Uh, there's a couple on the Nid that I've still not done on the York ticket. Um, but I'm not too fussed about them ones uh, because I think they're probably going to be better early season. Uh, there will be fish in there, but just not in uh, quantity. So they will take a little bit of a um, hunting, them, them bad boys. Uh, but yeah, so. I'm thinking probably at the Derwent next. New river, new challenges. Um, it's full of different species. It's got everything in there. Um, and it's a real little gem. Um, I've worked down there uh, that sort of way, quite a bit over the past. Uh, done boardwalks and bridges and um, removed balsam. I've done all sorts down there. Um, and I always wanted to fish it, but I wanted into my fishing at the time. Uh, but I always thought it would look good for fishing. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the next mission. Uh, stay tuned for more bobbies on the bank, more fishing shenanigans. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode, even though not much has really happened. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. You all take care, tight lines, and hope you catch some smiles. Bye-bye. softly spoken with no strings tying you to me i'm happy in your company with no emotion because my love deserves to be free i never want to look at a house in the garden i never want to lock you down i know you're not mine it's just my turn but we can still have fun for now